Hey everybody, Mike here. So I wanted to do a quick review of this TV that we bought my daughter a couple years ago for Christmas. This is a TCL, it's a 40 inch screen, and it's only a 1080p resolution, which is not the end of the world. Obviously in today and age, 4K and 8K is all becoming a big thing. But if you're wanting to save a couple dollars and you're not too worried about sacrificing a little bit of picture quality, this TV is a great option, especially for the price. If you sacrifice a little bit of resolutions, you can get a little bit larger screen size and save a little bit of money all at the same time. So what's nice about this TV is it uses Android. It really shines when it comes to the streaming services. We have some subscriptions to several platforms so up here in our favorites you'll see we've got netflix disney and apple tv and hulu and then the youtube as well that's what we mostly use in our house i've been really impressed with the picture quality and how well this thing works over the last couple of years we are mainly an apple family across most of my house with everything we use device wise what i really like about this apple tv app and the fact it's available on this android tv is we're able to actually scroll through here and she can watch movies that we already own or at least the ones that we allow her to watch so it gives her quite a few options there and then she can always go back here and she can select from the disney app or netflix whatever she, whatever she she decides she wants to watch but this tv's got a ton of options so it's pretty much got something for everybody and then we also have a little dvd player hooked up for her down here too so she can watch any movies that we own as well here's the little remote that comes with it which has the netflix youtube button built into it down here that's built in shortcuts and then at any point in time she can hit her home button and get her back to the screen you see right here right now it's a super easy remote for a kid to be able to use without having too many but buttons that she doesn't know how to use if you do decide you need a hookups on the back it has two hdmi's available an ethernet if you want to hardwire instead of using the built-in Wi-Fi. You can connect the satellite antenna or through coax as well. It does have an optical out and then it's got USB and headphone jacks as well. If so if you're not wanting to use this just for the streaming services, you do have some options available to be able to use. The audio on this TV, it's not as good as you know, my more expensive TV that we keep in my living room. I will say that. For her room being the size that it is, it's way more than adequate than what she needs. I would say this would be more than fine for any any smaller to medium sized room. If you start getting into rooms that are more like the 20 by 20 size, something like that, you may want to consider adding an external speaker like a sound bar to this to get you a little bit better audio quality. But that's just my personal opinion. Just to give you a quick idea, here's just a little bit of what the audio sounds like. You're a Dracula. You can't just be friends with a cute hairy number like who we need like that. Like I said, it gets quite a bit loud. I just feel like the higher you go with the volume on this, your sound quality does suffer a little bit on the higher end. I just feel like the audio distorts compared to the slightly nicer TVs that you're going to find on the market. So overall, we've been extremely happy with this TV. My daughter's been tickled to death at the fact that she's got such a large TV in her bedroom, and it didn't cost us an arm and a leg to get this for her either. So overall, this has been a very solid purchase.